Hey guys, I'm Miss Melinda and I need your help today. What goes through your mind when somebody asks you for help? Are you thinking, uh oh, wonder what they need? Or how much time is it going to take to help them? Are you usually cheerful when somebody asks you for help? Or do you grumble? I admit, sometimes I'm not extremely cheery when somebody asks me for my help. My cat Snowy likes to help me, especially when I'm on recording a video. She likes to jump up on my computer desk and stand in front of the camera and pose. That's why I waited until she was taking a nap in the other room to share with you guys. Snowy knows how to open doors, so I should be a little quiet, okay? I love this verse in Philippians 2.4, which says, Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. Jesus was always helping others, even when he was busy. He'd stop whatever he was doing, listen, and help. Let's turn it around for a minute. Do you ask for help? When you can't figure out a math problem or can't reach something high up on the shelf, do you ask mom or dad or a sibling to help you or do you try to do it on your own? God not only wants us to help others when they ask, but he wants us to ask for help and not just from our parents. We need to ask God for help and not try to do everything on our own. I try to focus on this verse from Psalm 119, 147 every morning. It says, I rise before dawn and cry out for help. I wait for your words. There are many ways to help. I know we mostly think about actions we can do to help, like unloading the dishwasher or opening the door for somebody carrying a heavy load or even just helping out around the house. Other ways we can help are praying for others, volunteering to help when you know the person would really appreciate it. Another way we can help others is to say a kind word or make a small gift for somebody going through a rough time. One of the things I love to do is make small quilts or hand-sewn gifts for people. It can be in celebration of a birth of a baby, a graduation, a birthday, or an anniversary. It's a joy to give a gift and help lift them up. The Lord wants us to use our gifts and talents to help and encourage others. I love the verse on this small quilt that I made to encourage a friend. The verse is from 1 Corinthians 16, 14, and it says, Let all that you do be done in love. Giving a small bouquet of flowers can also show love. Who are you going to help today? Have a great day, friends.